This lady, she hasn't talk, spoken with her father since 2003, since he abandoned her and her mom. And now she hears that he is now part of a cult, he is a cultist now. And she is already graduated, she hasn't spoken to him in this long. And she was, she's a Christian, she's thinking, she doesn't know if she should try to reach out to him. And, but she's also scared that if she does, he might have this influence over her just because he's the father. And she might, he might try to convert her to his cult. So what would be her move in this situation? If she is feeling that she has a need for him and she wants to honor him or respect him or relate to him as a father, if she's feeling that urge, if she's feeling that the Holy Spirit is leading her to do that, she should just go and ahead and just love on him and honor him and respect him and just pay his adieus to him, but not necessarily trying to convert him or to, if the talk goes that way, then she might try to do that, but you know she should not go there with uh, some agenda other than just to love. Mm -hmm. That is the first commitment we have, and the Bible says, "Don't own anybody anything apart from mutual love." So she should go, go there to, with the purpose of loving him and just taking care of him as a father and honoring him as a father, and not afraid of him converting her or she, she converting him. So the same advice apply to just normal. Uh, families where one person yes. is a Christian and the other non-Christian. That's right. Try to bring them love. Yes, and, that's all. and honor.